Yeah. Hopefully an interesting final for you, at uh, uh, bottom bracket final here for you now, in the form of a Galleon versus Mobularov. So it's again an opportunity to test that idea that Galleons have the potential to defeat Mobulars. Um, this is certainly, I think, the map to test it on. Uh, this is where the uh, the Brotherhood were able to, to to use Galleons effectively against double Mobulars. And let's have a look at what we've got. So first up for the riders, we have the Liberator Zone, piloted by Skybox. It is a Metagallion, left side, Lumberjack, Heavy Flak, and Hades, rear, flare gun, and right side, Minotaur, Watcher. And also for the riders, we have the Dionysus. It is a Galleon, piloted by Arius, and it has pretty much the same configuration from the looks of things. Left side, Lumberjack, Flak. Uh, Hades, rear, um, flare gun, and right side, uh, Minotaur, and Watcher. And for the Skyborn, we have, uh, piloted by uh, Sunstrom, the Reborn. It is a Mobula with top Mercury. Um, it's getting the crap shot out of it as well. It has a left side Banshee, lower deck Artemis, lower deck... Artemis and right side Gatling gun and the Helios piloted by Dark Knight top deck uh, Hades bottom decks are Artemis's and wings are Flare and Gatling fire going down on the Dionysius uh, what's the condition of the reborn oh dear yeah so this this is what I was worried about uh, earlier the reborn has suffered a bit of permahole damage it's got lumberjack its balloon is damaged and with the hades that makes life even more difficult for them and so we're seeing a bit of exchange of fire between the dionysius and the liberator and the helios um helios has suffered uh, a balloon pop now i believe that uh, dark knight yes he has drogue shoot drogue shoot is currently on so it's going to be difficult to force that Mobula down to the ground. The Reborn, on the other hand, uh, has also got a sh uh, shoot vent, but has to engage at the same height as the Galleons. Now, the Galleons are starting off a little high here, which is interesting. I, I would be tempted to find an engagement spot that forced these Mobulas a bit lower, but of course... The riders have limited options here because they are starting in red spawn and your ability to move into open terrain that doesn't completely expose you to uh, to the Mobula's considerable firepower is, is slightly more limited. Um, so the Dionysus is exposed and engaged by the Helios but the Helios is being shot back its balloon goes down it will slowly start falling the problem it's going to have is if it loses the uh, the artemis arcs then it's not going to be able to keep the um enemies uh enemies um lumberjack down and will eventually be ground out the liberator is facing off against the reborn whilst the dionysius is taking shots from the reborn uh at the moment no substantial Substantial damage on either side. A little bit of a uh, little bit of damage to the reborn, but nothing major. No one's sort of super focused fire after that first initial engagement, where the reborn found itself low and and had to, to I think, reposition so that it was out of the uh, the the arcs of its enemies. Uh, we've got a few fires on the um, on the reborn. Not many. Uh, the Helios. Armor fires, no balloon fires. Now, balloon fires are a massive pain if you're a, a, a mobula in, in this kind of engagement because they will slowly burn down your balloon, which limits your vertical mobility, and then you're sitting in front of a lumberjack. So, I'm. It's worth keeping an eye out to see if any fires get set on the Helios. Of course, armor breaks are also bad. The um, Dionysus and the Liberator both have considerable uh, uh, killing power in the form of those heavy flax, although landing those at this range is going to be a big ask. Helios and Reborn backing up, they, they don't like engaging at this range. I think they're going to try and pull the uh, uh, the um, riders further towards their spawn. They'd rather the engagement was taking place there. Don't know if the riders are going to take the uh, take them up on that offer. They might take this opportunity to to reposition. They may just snipe at them with um, with lumberjacks. 
Um, they've got pretty decent lumberjack gunners, so eventually the um, uh, the mobulars will take one hit too many here. I think. I mean that they're, they're not going to kill the uh, the galleons with long range mercury fire, uh, and I think um, they may actually be. Yeah, they're, they're burst for the. Um, uh, the uh, Artemis is here, so not going to have the ability to engage with the uh, um, the galleons at ridiculously long range with with Lesmok Artemises. So, uh, Reborn is spotted and is kind of low here. This this is interesting. Um, they're probably going to try and pop up to engage Dionysus. Dionysus. Probably pronouncing that wrong. Uh, yep, there they go, they pop up, they snipe out the Lumberjack, that's, of all the list of things they could have happened, that's certainly high on the uh, on the list. Flak uh, returns fire. Helios is uh, moving around the other side. Reborn is probably going to try and maintain their uh, the attention of the uh, enemies here, although uh, Reborn probably wants to stop shooting at his ally if they're trying to do a sneaky flank. Um, or is that an AI that's, that's that's got confused? Nope, nope. Okay, few shots going down on Dionysius. Um, no substantial damage here. Armor is taking hits, but it's at eighty percent. Here comes the Helios behind them. Oh, they they know where the Helios is, and they're probably going to turn to engage. And the reborn might find themselves without uh, without arcs on both these ships. Now, Helios is quite a distance away, so this this may not be a. Uh, a a fatal blow but they are going to be uh, focused here they've lost their balloon they're moving into cover they should manage to get there without uh, without substantial problems and they have drogue shoot so um, they'll have an opportunity to yep their balloon is back up they're in cover now the reborn is closing in on the liberator zone um, fire is returned the liberator zone has gone low now that's that's pretty um, it's pretty pretty uh, sensible because the liberator zone, um, by going low there, limits the ability of the um, uh, mercury to, to engage them, uh, and also makes their lumberjack potentially more effective by forcing their enemy to, to, to come down to them. The reborn has lost their balloon. They should be able to move into a position where they're reasonably safe. Um, and they get a few pot shots off at the Dionysius, but Mobulus here trying to find a way to close in and engage, trying to find a way to isolate their opposition. Dionysius is a little bit exposed here. The They will need the Liberator to land a few more hits on the Reborn. There we go, Balloon goes down. But Dionysius suffers an armor break. This is not what they, they would have wanted. That they're, they're, again, still exposed. The Helios is going to keep pounding them. Then comes Hades' fire. Uh, let's go and have a look at what this looks like from the rider perspective. Liberator Zone is desperately trying to force that Mobula down, but Dionysus is so exposed here. It looks like they might be dropping here finally, but only after losing 50% of their permahol, which is not what they would have been after. Reborn continues to exchange fire with the... or, or rather uh, suffer a little bit of fire from the Liberator, but not enough to actually kill them. And oh, this 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 could be tough for the riders. That they can't afford to have another engagement like that because the Dionysius would find itself with very limited uh, uh, permahol if they did. On the other hand, the reborn can't afford to, to to find itself in the same position it did at the start. So tough long-range engagement, slow, grindy, but uh, but um, nonetheless potentially interesting. Helios loses Balloon, it's probably not going to be a problem for them because they'll drop behind cover. Liberator trying to maintain arcs, but of course the problem you've got when you're trying to keep arcs on uh, a, a mobula like this is that uh, um, you have limited ability to reposition um, on these, as previously mentioned, long, relatively shallow inclines. Um, so approaching your, your enemy is, is, is difficult. Reborn again suffers a balloon uh, break, but they'll drop behind cover, and there's no way for uh, for their enemies to close on them. So, the Anosius continues to suffer, well, I want to say withering fire, but some fire from the Helios. 
Uh, seven stacks on the Dionysius's armor. They probably want to duck behind something and, and get an extinguisher on that relatively quickly. Um, probably going to suffer an armor break here, and they will be sitting in front of a couple of Artemises. Two shots go in. Another one. This this could be a problem for the Dionysius. It takes a while to get a Galleon's armor back up, but they manage it, but that's not what they wanted. In fact, on the list of Christmas presents, nowhere was four Artemises into my armor. Uh, appearing on it and oh that's it down goes the Dionysius and I think we're about to see the Mobulas rush the uh, the Liberator Zone here very little reason not to uh, Helios closing lots of fire going into the Liberator uh, reborn able to maintain arcs on them um, now of course the problem they're gonna have is that they're gonna lose their balloon but the Helios is gonna have basically a free party uh, um, with the Liberator Zone uh, Perhaps uh, the Liberator Zone might consider that uninvited. Dionysus spawning quite close in. This could get interesting. The Liberator Zone probably going to try and tank it out, but they lose their balloon. They've got nowhere to go. And this, again, is the problem with these being relatively shallow. The only place the Helios can go is down now. And down into the warm, loving embrace of two heavy flax, two Hades, and two lumberjacks. Their balloon is popped. The Reborn has to come in to assist their ally. Helios hydroing up, which is probably the smart thing to do here, even though it is going to purse their balloon because it means that they have enough time to keep their uh, their guns in arc. Reborn engaging the Liberator, but the Reborn is going to have a hard time keeping the guns down on the Liberator as Dionysius and Helios exchange fire. Liberator Zone suffers an armor break, Gatling fire going into them. Not substantial. Artemis fire though, most of their hulls intact. Helios suffers an armor break, and down they go, and now the Reborn may find themselves a little bit too far forward. And it's 1-1 one, one as the Reborn are uh, engaging the Liberator Zone. Dionysius pulling forward. If they lose their balloon here, the Reborn might find themselves in trouble. Um, they have places they can drop to, but uh, they, they will want uh, to be perhaps a little bit further back before they try that out. Now they're probably reasonably safe. And so the Liberator Zone and the Reborn are exchanging fire, but we don't have... I don't think we're going to see another kill here. I think the Reborn is going to manage to disengage, and I think the Liberator Zone is uh, is not going to suffer enough fire to, to suffer another armor break. Most of their guns are, are damaged, but uh, that, uh, that just means Dionysius is going to have to do a bit of the heavy lifting. And now we have the problem of bringing a reactive build to a time-limited uh, event. With 10 minutes remaining on the clock, and one, one, the Galleons are faced with an issue. They have to kill. And if uh, if there's one thing that's that's difficult in its Galleon, it's forcing an engagement. However, the Reborn is being focused fire, and uh, we're seeing six guns, two of them heavy, firing at the same time. Reborn is just backing off, it's taking this somewhat in its stride. Its armor is still up, it has suffered hits from the Lumberjack, but Hades largely going wide. The Helios is opening up on the Liberator Zone, um, but uh, not, uh, not no substantial damage there yet. A uh, few hits landing on the Dionysus. Uh, it's sitting high again, it's, it's kind of somewhat separated from the Liberator. Uh, they, they have to be a bit more aggressive here, which I think was the idea with the high positioning on the Dionysus, even if it did somewhat cost them. The Helios and the, uh, the, the uh, Dionysus exchanging fire. The Liberator Zone looks to be repositioning a little bit, trying to, to, to bring guns to bear. I think maybe on the Reborn, or maybe they're just looking to bring themselves a little bit closer to the Helios. Helios suffers an armor break and have lost their balloon, but they're just going to drop behind hard cover as they have the last 17 times that happened. Uh, Reborn edging back and forth here, engaging Liberator Zone. Um, maybe Dionysius too. Uh, not, uh, probably not going to get a kill anytime soon, but they're also probably not going to die anytime soon, so... And we're seeing fire coming down here from the Liberator Zone into the Reborn. Reborn has some... well, one of their guns has one stack of fire on it, I'm sure they're panicking about that. Um, 
few shots going into the balloon. Armor's about to break. They've lost their armor and their hull. Now, this is one thing that is potentially risky, is where they do keep suffering armor breaks, one lucky heavy flak shot could do the job for the riders. Uh, that's, that's almost certainly not what they're hoping for, but it, it certainly could. Um, the Helios still firing on the Dionysius. We've seen this sort of engagement uh, several times now. They exchange fire. Eventually the Helios loses its balloon, drops behind a, uh, uh, the mountain, repairs, and then pops back up again. Uh, this rotation will probably keep dragging on. I, I anticipate this going the full 20 minute whack. Reborn again losing their balloon but they're just going to drop behind the mountain. Um, the question becomes will one of these two teams uh, get a kill before that happens because that that could be how this match wraps up slightly faster. Not not, not that, uh, that my uh, my tired British uh, backside is hoping for that uh, that to happen but um, what what we're seeing here of course is that both ships uh, both teams are aware that the next kill probably wins it with the rate at which uh, um, uh, uh, kills are happening in, the, in this event what with both teams sitting somewhat close to their spawns being forced to charge from this position for either ship either set of ships will probably be the end of it um, and so we're seeing a certain amount of caginess. Now, of course, with five minutes remaining, the riders have got to be starting to get nervous. They've got to, got to think, well, maybe, um, maybe the, um, the, the, um, the time has come to try and charge one of the mobulars and see if we can kill it. Now, that's always difficult in a in a galleon. In fact, that might be what we're seeing here is Dionysius closes, Liberator Zone also closes. They know they're separated, so they've got the opportunity here potentially to close, and galleons are not slow pokes. Uh, contrary to, to what to what you might think, their, their acceleration ain't the best, but their top speed is pretty darn fast. And they will be able to close on this, this mobula. We've got four minutes remaining. The problem, of course, is they are going to suffer armor breaks as they come in. They're just going to have to tank that out, keep the engines up, keep the... Uh, hull repaired, Liberator Zone comes in here, Dionysus is going to try and get their close range side in I think, they know they need a kill relatively fast, the, the Reborn has suffered a few hits from the uh, the Lumberjack which is going to be crucial here because they need to stop the Reborn from repositioning constantly, we're seeing what might be, oh they're going to end up with the left side facing it, I'm not sure that's exactly what they were going for, um, Reborn dropping down here, Liberator Zone taking fire, Liberator Zone taking fire from both ships. Oh, Dionysius dropping down. They might ram them down into the ground here. Reborn dropping. Now, of course, the virtue of the mobular getting rammed from the top is its hull, not balloon. But they bottom out anyway. They're going to sit in front of a Watcher and... Oh! Oh! A hair left! A hair left! Their balloon is badly damaged. If, 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 if someone drops their coffee cup on the Reborn, it's dead. But the Liberator Zone and Helios continue to exchange fire. Reborn, living to fight another day. Liberator Zone, oh, their armor's down. The kill could go the other way. A flare going into the Reborn. Carronade, Watcher, an armor break would do it. And down they go. Down they go, and the Riders are now 2-1. to one. Helios has three minutes. They probably have to stay. They probably have to try and kill the Liberator Zone, and they might just do it if they can consistently land the uh, the Hades. The problem is their balloon is down. They're dropping. If they drop into cover, they're only going to have a minute and a half, two minutes to, to finish this engagement. Their allies got to spawn in aggressively. This, this, this could be tough. Riders managed to pull it out of the fire. And it's it's a tough engagement. Helios's balloon is down. Reborn is back in, but Helios limited places to run to. They're going to have to press forward, and Liberator Zone is now in cover from the, uh, the the Helios, not from the Reborn though. But the Reborn gets shot in the backside by the Dionysius. Its balloon is down. The flak lands. Another flak lands. Armor just up in time. Liberator Zone again engaging the Reborn. Uh, Reborn flies over the Liberator Zone, probably has to to get out of the arcs of the, um, the Dionysius, because if the Dionysius does kill the Reborn, it's all over for the Skyborn. On the other hand, Helios now, oh, Helios is sitting in 
a world of pain. Heavy flak lands, another heavy flak lands. Down goes the Helios, and that might well be it. Two minutes remaining, three to one. Reborn has limited options for retreat if their balloon goes down. It's damaged. Uh, no fires on it, so they're trying to pull back here, but down goes their balloon, down goes their armor. Light flak, uh, heavy flax rather, closing in. Most of them going high, but nowhere really to run to. And if the Liberator Zone repositions quickly, they're going to have a, a a real problem here. Although it looks like the Liberator Zone is going the wrong way around the structure. Reborn managing to pull themselves into a relatively safe position. The problem they've got is the Reborn has one minute to kill both these ships. So they're going to have to close out here, and I think we're going to see a um, either 3-1 to one or 4-1, to one because... The, that's a lot of fire to run straight into. Helios is back in, they're engaging. A lot of fire going into the Reborn. A few Hades shots sailing over. Light flag coming out, 30 seconds remaining. Oh, this 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 could be tough. The the Reborn and the Helios trying to close on the Liberator Zone. Trying to get Ox, trying to, to, to get that armor break, but down goes the uh, the there we go, the Reborn. Down goes the Reborn, and now the Liberator Zone and uh, uh, Helios are firing at one another, but I think this this is a problem for, for the Skyborn. They've got overtime, they have three minutes of, I think it's three or two minutes of overtime, but they have to overcome a four to one deficit. And that's, that's not going to be straightforward. And there we see, I, I think... Uh, uh, perhaps somewhat generously, the, uh, the the Skyborn surrender, allowing us all to, to hop over to the uh, to the final, which will be Rider Bowl 2.0. Tough engagement uh, for the uh, the Skyborn there, but the Galleon able uh, able to close when they were uh, when it was advantage Skyborn, and from there on it was uh, a uh, uh, something of a meat grind for the Skyborn, although forgivably so, with only three minutes remaining on the clock.